Hello, my name is Arjun Vidya Sagar, and I am a tour guide at the Holocaust Museum at Bronx Science. Trends and movements can only survive if they receive the constant support from the people. Hitler knew this, and he also knew that the Nazi party and its ideologies were very susceptible to die along with the generation that founded them. In order to ensure that the Nazi party would survive long after his own passing, Hitler would broadcast promises of honor and glory to the youth of Germany through an organization known as the Hitler Jugend, or the Hitler Youth. Here at the Holocaust Museum at Bronx Science, we house a variety of artifacts pertaining to the Hitler Youth, among which include a rare stamp book distributed to children during the Third Reich. The stamp book is filled with many stamps that depict Nazi officials and leaders in a highly glorified manner. Children who were able to complete the stamp book were given bragging rights because it was seen as an impressive feat to do so. The Hitler Youth was modeled off the American Boy Scouts and was led by a man named Baldur von Schrock. Young German boys in the Hitler Youth were taught to become excellent future soldiers, while young German girls were taught to become housewives for these future soldiers. Participation in the Hitler Youth became mandatory after 1939. At the war's end, Schrock, along with many other high-ranking Nazi officials, were put on trial for crimes against humanity at Nuremberg. 